Hello everyone, I'm Chan from Talent Battle. Welcome to our new video. In this video, we are going to check the previous year TCS Digital Advanced Reasoning questions. As we know, TCS is planning to hire 2023 batch students for both ninja and digital roles through NQT exam for off-campus placements. This video will help you to prepare for it. Also, we have started our live training for TCS integrated test pattern which is also known as ITP, in which we will cover the previous year questions of foundation section, which contains numerical, verbal, and reasoning ability, and the advanced section, which contains quantitative, reasoning, and coding part. Also, join our social media handles like Telegram group, Instagram page, and WhatsApp group. We constantly update placement preparation updates and off-campus updates on our pages. Links to all these handles are given in the description below. So before we do start, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for instant notifications about our videos. Join TCS Masterclass for Structured Preparation. Coupon code and link are in the description section. So without further delay, let's get started with the very first question. Okay, if you observe this question from uh, Venn diagrams, if I'm not wrong, a survey was conducted among 200 users of laptops of different companies. Okay, it was found that 160 use laptops of Sony, 100 use laptops of HP, and 90 use laptops of Toshiba. 20 use of all the three companies, and each one uses of at least one of these companies. Okay, there might be a question. Okay, here we are, but let us first try to fill the data. So, as we all know, that we have to first of all represent the question in a diagrammatic format whenever these are three parameters like here we have sony hp and toshiba we need to take three circles and uh, there should be an intersection part among the three circles all right yeah so some rules to be followed are the total number of people getting surveyed should be out of the box all right and uh, whatever the uh, entities are given for example first is sony Next is HP and the last is Toshiba. So I'm going to write over here. Oh, there are, there might be some people who might not perform any tasks. So such people should be written over here. All right. Now, so we all know that how basically we solve this question called N of A union, B union, C. But if you do observe that takes definitely a long time. Why? Because we need to find what is N of A union, B, N of A, B union, C, N of C union, A, etc, etc. And so many aspects. But here I'm going to tell you some good shortcut which you can apply and can answer the question here. So what is that and all? I'll just mention. Now here if you observe how many parts are there. Look, we have three circles intersected and different parts are formed. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, totally seven parts. When I have seven parts, I'll be taking seven alphabets that are the big parts are nothing but A, B, C. And the next parts are D, E, F. And last but not the least, the intersection of all the three at one point is nothing but G. All right, so this is going to be the representation which I'm going to use. Now, I'll, I'll ask you a few questions. What is A? If you say A is Sony, I'm sorry, you are wrong. A is only Sony. There is a lot of difference between Sony and only Sony. Look, A are the number of users who use only Sony. But if I'm asking how many users are using Sony, it's going to be A plus D plus E plus G. Because D, E, G are also the users of Sony. Right. I hope you got the point and the difference between Sony and only Sony. Right. For example, if I ask you, what is F? What is F? F are the number of users who use only HP and Toshiba. Only HP and Toshiba. For example, if I ask how many users are using Sony and Toshiba, then you have to answer it's going to be D plus G because D and G are the number of users who use both Toshiba and Sony. But if I ask you only Sony and Toshiba, then you're going to answer D. I hope you understood all these points. So with respect to those, we have to answer the question. Now you all know how many users are there. So totally 200. Now out of 200, are there any number of users who are not using any laptop? No, there are each and everybody, at least one of these three companies that each and everyone uses. So there are zero number of people who are not there by not using any company's laptop. All right. So from this, everybody, I can write one thing. First of all, a plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F plus G is equal to how much? Look, this is the same format for each and every question. Trust me, this will definitely help you. You practice this a little a bit, you'll definitely uh, feel it is very, very easy actually. Now everybody, if I 
add from A to G, what is that? The total number of uses basically. So given the total number of uses are 200. But if there are anyone who is not using, we'll subtract from the 200 and we'll give that over here. I hope you got the point everybody. Right now, the second point. So this is the very first point, like all users. And the second point, only specific users. For example, Sony. How many are using Sony? A plus D plus E plus G are using Sony. And how many are using Sony? Sony are 100 people. HPR, uh, sorry, Sony is 160, HP is 100, and Toshiba is 90. So let us write the same. So that's going to be 160. Now, so you tell me, my dears, what is the number of users for HP? HP is going to be B plus E plus F plus G. And that's going to give you 100. So the fourth equation is going to be the Toshiba. It's going to be C plus D plus F plus G, which is nothing but 90. Okay, I told you same format for any question which contains three circles. Now, I said I'm going to use some standard ways. What is that? Now, everybody, this equation one. Add all these three equations. What you'll get? You're getting A plus B plus C plus here we have 2D. So that's going to give me 2D. Similarly, 2E. Similarly, 2F. Plus, if you have 3G, so that's going to give me 3G. Now, add all this 160 plus 90, 250. 250 plus 100 is going to give me 350. Let us say this equation. Now, if I subtract equation 2 minus equation 1, what I'll be getting? Everybody just observe. I'll be getting ABC gets cancelled for sure from equation 2 and equation 1. So, with that ABC getting cancelled, 2D minus D. 2D minus D will give me D plus 2E minus E will give me E plus F plus 3G minus G will give me 2G is equal to how much 350 minus 200 it's going to give me 150. Have you understood till here everybody? Yes. And by the way, we do know one point. What is that? We actually know one more value, which is nothing but 20 used laptops of all three companies of all three companies means who are the users basically here in this picture uses all the three companies exactly this common intersection part, which is nothing but G. So we know G is actually 20. So from that G value, can I get D plus E plus F fellow? So 150 minus 220s are 40. So 150 minus 20, 40 will give me 110. All right, everybody. Now we have something D plus E plus F. What is D plus F, E plus F? D plus E plus F are nothing but the users who use only two laptop companies or the users which uses basically two company laptops only. For example, Sony Toshiba only, Sony HP only, and HP and Toshiba only. But if you have any of, of such question, we can get it. And by the way, just give me one minute. Okay, let me write here this over there. Yeah, so what is the question of? So this is the same standard procedure for any question. So till here, you can perform the same. All right, so two minus one till. From here, the question starts. Now, the question is, how many use laptops of only one company? Of only one company, what everybody, of only one company means I need what? Exactly, I need A plus B plus C is equal to dash. And how can I get that? Now, how can I get that? If you do observe people, we have the equation called A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F plus G is equal to 200. In which we know already D plus E plus F value. Just we go, we got to know that is 110, and we all know G value that is 20. So we'll definitely get A plus B plus C. Look how simply we got it. So that's going to give me A plus C, B plus C is equals to 200 minus 20 is going to be 180. 180 minus 110 will give me 70. So that's going to give me option A as my answer. I hope you all thoroughly enjoyed this trick, everybody. If you just Practice this a lot. You'll be very, very, very clear with it. And it's going to be easy. Look, I told you this is a standard procedure. So no need to remember something. Just take all the users and then solo users as in Sony, HP and Tash Toshiba or maths, physics, science, etc, etc. And then just do two minus one. Add all these three equations. You'll be getting the second equation. So two minus one will give you the data. So from that, you can continue the question. All right. I hope you completely understood this procedure and you got this question. Now let's go on to one more if any. Okay, we have one more question. As you know, when diagram is definitely a minimum of two or a maximum of five, also we can expect. Now, given if 40 is only Sony, only Sony means can you tell me what is a variable I have to take my dears? Exactly, only Sony means A, A is the only Sony. So given if 
a is equal to 40 how many use toshiba and hp only again only so toshiba and hp only means what is the value i require exactly i require the value of f then f is equal to question mark look is there any requirement of that n of a in b n of a b in n c and so on no you are simply taking variables like alphabet simply and you are doing the question in a much simpler manner so that's how this question or this method will be helpful all right now let's move on to that uh, data yeah. so now i have a value i need f value how can i get it how can i now to get f value basically i should use any of these two equations all right or basically i can do one more thing already know abc value I know G value, I need to get D plus E value so that I'll be getting the F value finally. So you tell me how to find D plus E value now. Come on, any idea? Any idea? Exactly. Now, if you observe from two, we can get that. Look, I'll be writing over here. I know that A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F plus G is equal to how much? 200. We already know that. From the only Sony, we get 160 people. What is that? A, D, E, G. A, D, E, G. Is equal to how much? 160. And we know given A is 40 and given G is 20. So that's going to give me D plus E is equal to 160. Now, so D plus E is equal to 160 minus 60 will give me 100. So we got to know what is D plus E value that is 100. So from this now, everybody, can I get what is your value or not? Yes. So A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F plus G is equal to 200. So A plus B plus C is one, uh, 110 if I'm not wrong. Let me check it. So 70 it is. I'm sorry. So it is 70. So this is 70. And this I got as 100. And this I know it is 20. So that's going to give me a fast 200 minus 100 plus 90, 190. So that's going to give me FS how much everybody? FS 10. So which says option D must be the answer. So again, how simply you have answered the question within just using the variables, my dear. So that's how basically we can easily answer the questions on Venn diagrams through these variables and all. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this uh, way of answering the question. All right. Yeah. Let us move on to the next. Okay, let us read the direction. So in the given question, there are four figures which can be formed from the cut pieces of the given question. Okay, so here we have a cut pieces and we can form any one of these four from the cut pieces. So which one is that we can form is the question. Come on, everybody. Try it and then I'll answer. I hope you have tried. Now, everybody, let us say, uh, given the point is, let me just represent quickly. Okay, so these are the four pieces are actually now from this what you can say for example let us say this is left hand side face all right so this is bottom face now from the left hand and bottom what do we get we might get a box of this sort yes or no so there might be connections like this if i'm not wrong all right everybody now so this is left hand side and this is the bottom side now similarly we will get the same on the top and the right hand side why? Because let us say this is the top surface. Now, when I just rotate that to some extent, and we'll be getting off this sort, and there would be a connection. All right. Now, so this says that very easily we can find what is the piece of figure that we can form through the cut pieces. What is that? It's going to be option two for sure. All right. Now, just for your confirmation, this is going to be the right hand side. And when you turn it, it's going to be looking like this. All right. So other than that, do we have any horizontal and vertical lines? Look, option A is also looking like the same, but do we have any uh, like horizontal and vertical cuts? No, we are going to have only cross cuts because they are getting joined this piece and this piece, this piece and this piece getting joined. So we do have only cross lines. So the cross lines and uh, these lines is going to be give me a figure of a thrombus or basically a square England at certain angle. Uh, let me do I hope that's make sure that option B is the figure that can be formed from the cut pieces. All right. Yes. Now let us move on to the last question. There's going to be something uh, uh, new. We have directions. Now there are so many people, eight people basically. Let us first read the direction. Eight people are uh, employees of organization working in three departments personal, administration, and marketing with not more than 
three of them in any department okay only more than three cannot be that means it can be one two or maximum it can be just three of them in any department fine each of them has a different choice of sport from all these eight games given right you can read that not necessarily in the same order okay so that says a is not just football a can be anything now d works okay given the data here let us write the data now do one thing just try to pause the video try to answer on your own now i'll be telling you how easily we can actually answer this question all right you try it i hope you are done now everybody look from the given data i'll, I'll directly uh, write down the points which of direct clues first right now so firstly let us solve the department so first department is personal and then the second de department is marketing and the third we have is an admin all right now any direct clues regarding any one any one of these departments yes we do have that what is that f works in personal with only a with only a means what is there anybody in the personal working apart from f and a no so f and a are the only two people who are going to work in the department of personal so the other six the other six must be split among market and admin now can we have two and four like two in the market and four in the admin or four in the market and two in the admin no each should definitely share a three people why because the maximum can only be three so that is one good point we have now so let us read the given data if anything works for us now given e and h works in the same department do not work in the same department as d okay first of all let us go with d then uh, any directly with respect to d yeah so d works in admin okay so given d is the one who works in admin and i know that e and h works in the same department but do not work in the department where d works so that says e and h are only market department all right yeah so if g doesn't work in the administration where g should work g should work only in the market so g is over here and the rest of the others should work in the admin department that is b and c all right everybody i hope you clearly understood this now no re no need of tables and all we can just use this data and answer the questions is that clear everybody the departments one yeah again uh, checking back only f and a works in the same department that is personal and nobody else is there and given d works in the admin since d works in the admin e and h works in the same department but not in the department of d so e and h is only in the department of market right and then g doesn't work in the administration so only option for g is again market all right so these are the departmental wise people who are working in that now let us go with the sports now given a b c d and then uh, let us write over here that is e f g h eight people eight sports now we have to talk about the sports so that we can answer the questions of all the five which are given since directions are five so let us take some time and try to answer very carefully look you have five questions so do not make any mistakes which might made you give a wrong answer all right now let's go with the data given now given data regarding the sports are okay let us go with direct clues first of all right now any direct clue which is given here come on guys just look at the data and then answer c likes hockey okay directly given that c likes hockey so c is hockey we can write that all right everybody now and then uh, okay and then given one more data okay that i have missed because of this line given that f works personal uh, with only a who likes table tennis now you tell me guys who likes table tennis is it f or a always i told you comma always represents the last person in the previous statement so that's going to give me a likes table tennis table tennis all right everybody i hope you got this point yeah that's good now so given that c likes hockey that is one more point which is done so c is done a is done so let us just circle it right now let's go with the third clue the one who likes volleyball works in the personal fine fine we have some data here look personal we have only two people who are they f and a already a we got to know that a likes table tennis now so the other one must like definitely volleyball so that says f likes volleyball volleyball very simply we have done so we are done with f also so f is also done now 
move on to the next one now i've given everybody if we observe regarding the uh, like uh, the administration definitely given d doesn't like football also cricket football no cricket no football and also now can d like table tennis no because table tennis already liked by a can d like cricket hockey no can d like volleyball no now if you observe 1 2 3 4 5 5 and also is not going to like football cricket table tennis hockey or volleyball and are there any other activities where d doesn't like none of those who works in administration either likes badminton or also lawn tennis that means he will be not liking badminton or lawn tennis now if you observe 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 we got information that d doesn't like seven games that means what is the only game for d left guys only game or sport that is the for d exactly the only game or sport left for b is basketball now look how easily we have answered the question from the data given if you just observe the data very properly all right everybody yes so that is d we got no now next so next is regarding the administration only so in the admin we know that one of those who works in the admin likes football right now we do have one point c already likes hockey that is there d already likes basketball that is also there so what is the only game that is left for b everybody that is football so b loves football so d done b done and c done now we have only e h g let us go for them all right so admin department is done and personal department is done now we have only the market department let us go for them all right now given that g doesn't like cricket or badminton g doesn't like cricket nor badminton bd let me write bd all right so i have e h g now any information regarding h yeah h also doesn't like cricket now everybody so e has only one option what is that if g doesn't like cricket or h doesn't like cricket only e should be the one who likes cricket so e is cricket everybody that's good now i have only g and h now g doesn't also like bd so the only sport for h is bd and the only sport left for g is what everybody that is nothing but come on what it what is the left out sport we have lawn tennis yeah lawn tennis all right so g likes lawn tennis and h likes badminton right everybody i hope you all understood the points yes Now from this we have to answer all the five right let us go with the questions now first question which of the following group of employees work in the administration department now so in admin we already know that b c d works let us just confirm b c d yeah b c d is the people so b c d is over here that's option b all right now let us move on to the next in which department does e works e we know that e works in the market department so e in the market so that's his option is what is option b now let's go with the next one which of the following combination of employee department and sport is correct employee department sport okay e first of all should work in a market just now we have seen so a is wrong f works in personal yes but f works f likes lawn tennis huh? no f likes basically what sport f likes volleyball so b is also wrong now h works in the marketing h works in the marketing but lawn tennis no h should be liking uh, badminton yes so that is third is also wrong now b works in the admin department yes and b should like football let us cross verify i hope it is correct b likes football and b works in the uh, admin department yes it is so that is option d is the correct answer now, let's move on to the next one which is e's favorite cricket e's favorite cricket should be uh, sport should be cricket if i am not wrong so e is cricket and yes it is option a right now how many questions 1 2 3 4 4 okay four. one more is there it should be let us check that what is g's favorite sport g's favorite sport i don't remember yeah it is lawn tennis according to the data we got that is lawn tennis option d now look how quickly i have answered all the questions once you have found out the data so that is the very advantage very big advantage we have with the data integration part look this is completely like a uh, like a arrangement part data arrangement i know but from the given data we have to interpret that is analyze and then answer the questions 
So I hope you completely understood the way of answering the questions. I hope uh, uh, the way differs from one person to the other person. You might be thinking one other way. I might be thinking one other way. But this is the shortest way to get the data and analyze it. So guys, I hope you thoroughly enjoyed the video. And uh, thank you for watching the video till the end. If you have liked the video, don't forget to press the like button. Also, join our social media handles like Telegram group, Instagram page, and WhatsApp group. Links to all these handles are in the description below. Thank you so much.